Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your WooCommerce notices using Elementor. Let's get started. What you're looking at over here is an error notice from WooCommerce and this is a default styling that it comes along with the theme that you are using. What happened is that Elementor now enabled us to make sure that we are able to style up these notices in a style that you want and it is not only possible for the error notices but also for the info notices and the message notices and let me take you to the cut page for example here this is another notification from woocommerce as well so the question is how can we customize these notifications to look something like this for example this is our error notification that is matching our style under the cut over here if we update this to let me say 10 items and now you see that we have a different style for our WooCommerce notification like this over here so even when I apply like a fake coupon code you see that now we have a unique styling for our WooCommerce notification for that error message so how do you do this in Elementor for example open up any page with Elementor and there you'll be brought to an interface that looks just like this you'll not be doing any changes on the page all we need is access to this hamburger icon over here come to site settings and under site settings come down here to settings then select WooCommerce from the menu items and you see down below here we have something called notices and when you check notices or when you select notices it gives you the option to select what kind of WooCommerce notifications you want to customize so if I delete this and delete this that means that we are not going to customize any of the notifications but we can add all of them the way we want so messages info notices so we are going to apply custom styling to the error notices message notices and info notices error notices look like this uh, message notices look like this and info notices look like this so when you select error notices inside here you can change on how the text is going to look like that is for the error notice and also the typography styling and uh, you can change the icon color so in this case i left it in default i can change that to be that's how it will look like but in my case it actually looks better when it is in red because hey you want that to actually pick up someone's attention and for the text we set that up to our global font style that we are already using in case your notifications are having links and pointing them to some other pages you would want to style up how your links would look like by changing the typography and the color on normal so for example in this case i can say color on normal is going to be our accent oh actually i think it's better when i make it to be our secondary color not the accent color and on hover we make it to be our accent color too and that means that now when someone hovers over our link in the error notification that's how it would look like in a nutshell that's how you can style up your error notifications now for the message notifications I have like already styled up this the way I want but basically to take you through again this is what you can do so for the message notifications you can change the text color to a color of your choice so in this case I changed this to blue and also for the typography I already pointed that to our body or global font style that we chose change that to any font style that you want from the typography drop down box over right there if you want to change the box background so we can say so in case you would want to make something like that yes well and good you can go ahead but in this case i want to make it to be a white color so uh, something like this you can go ahead and play around with the border radius of the message notifications and style it the way that you really want it to look like anyway now down below to the last one info notices how do you customize your information notices on your woocommerce store just like the other notices you've been working on you can go ahead and style up your color the typography and the icon as well again you can go ahead and add your border shadows border types you know border radius and also style up how this button will look like the same applies for the message box in case you want to style up how your buttons look like by making changes to the typography text color and then the background color as well once you're done hit update back here now to our cut page we are now going to update this we just want to add one product so when we update we should get a message notification that matches the style that we set up in our 
WooCommerce notices. So when I come back here now to my WooCommerce notices, you see that we are having this message notification over here, having the same style like the one we have here. So in case of an error notification, if I apply a fake coupon code, and here is our error notification from WooCommerce, and it is matching the style of our error notification that we set up over right here in the site settings. So in a nutshell, that's how you can style up your WooCommerce notices to match the look and feel of your website, brand and style. And in case you want to check out my other tutorials in this WooCommerce series, please check the playlist link in the description of this video. That way you'll be able to watch how to create your product archive page, purchase summary page, my account page, and all those other pages in WooCommerce. In case you have any questions or suggestions, let me know down in the comment box of this video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a good time. And goodbye.